Hello students, in this lecture we will see a problem based on interpolation. The problem is given f of 40 is equal to 184, f of 50 is equal to 204, f of 60 is equal to 226, f of 70 is equal to 250, f of 80 is equal to 276, f of 90 is equal to 304 find f of 38 and f of 85 using suitable interpolation formula. So first we will prepare a table from this then we will uh, go for the uh, we will see uh, which interpolation is suitable here. So solution see what is f of 40 f of 50 f of 60 this 40 50 60 70 80 90 all are nothing but x values and 184, 204, 226, 250, 276, 304 all are y value because we know that it is y is equal to f of x is all our equation so f of x is equal to y they have given in this form of what here f of x is equal to y they have given this what values they have given in the form of f of x is equal to y so x value is 40 y value is 184 so like that all values of y then what we need to find here when x is 38 so 38 is what here before 40 means we need to apply forward formula f of 85 also we need to find in the same so which is coming in between 80 and 90 so we need to so we need to apply forward formula as well as backward formula in the same question so therefore we will prepare a common table for this so let's see how to prepare a common table. So from the table, so I will take the x column. So x values are 40, 50, 60, 70, 80 and 90. So x column till 90 we have to take it. Then similarly the y values y values are 184 then 204 to 26 250 276 and 304 so this is your x naught value this is your y naught value similarly this is x n value and this is y n value y n value is 304 y naught value is 184 x naught value is 40 x n value is 90 now just we can see here So this question includes both the forward and backward because x value is 38 as well as x value is 85. x value 38 is uh, before this so therefore forward we need to apply and x value is 85 means it is in between 80 and 90 so therefore we need to go forward here backward. So from the same table we need to uh, collect uh, both forward and backward so I will not use the symbol here so for that I will use first difference. In short, I will write first difference. So, first difference means we will subtract this 204 minus 184 will get 20. Second difference that is 226 minus 204 will get 22. Next, 250 minus 226 will get uh, next difference is 24. 276 minus 250 will become. 26 and 304 minus 276 it will be 28 so once we get this we will go for the second difference so second difference 22 minus 20 it will be 2 24 minus 22 it will be 2 26 minus 24 again it will be 2 and 28 minus 26 again it will be 2 so once we got the second difference we will go for the third difference
that is 2 minus 2 is 0 2 minus 2 is 0 so 2 minus 2 is 0 so therefore I can see that so this is uh, these values I will take in a round 184 20 2 and 0 this is forward values and here I will take square box these are the backward values so from the only one from the common table top to bottom forward values bottom to top values are nothing but what here it is backward values so this uh, table value will use for both forward formula and backward why we are using forward and backward here because we need to calculate for f of 38 and f of 85 so we'll see how to get it so we what to do here so we have to use forward formula as well as backward formula to get the solutions here so let's see to get f of 38 to find f of 38 will use Newton forward interpolation and for that so this is nothing but uh, y naught value so this is delta of y naught delta square of y naught delta cube of y naught so delta uh, delta of y naught is 20 delta square of one is 2 and delta cube of y naught is 0 so therefore we will write only uh, two terms delta of y naught and delta square of y naught in the formula because next one is 0 here so by Newton's forward formula y of x which is nothing but I will consider as f of x also because they have given the question in terms of f of x both are same is equal to y naught plus r into delta of y naught plus r into r minus 1 forward means r minus 1 divided by 2 factor factorial delta square of y naught so we know from the table and uh, y naught value delta of y naught value delta square of y naught so we need to check what is r so here in the given question x value is 38 so therefore r value is x minus x naught upon h so x value is 38 minus x naught value from the table so x naught value is 40 divided by h if you see the difference 50 minus 40 10 60 minus 50 10 70 minus 60 is 10 80 minus 70 is 10 90 minus 10 is uh, 80 is 10 so difference is 10 here so 38 minus 40 divided by 10 so it, it will be minus 0 0.2 so r value is minus 0 0.2 y naught value we know it delta of y naught value we know, know it delta square of will substitute now here so we are finding f of 38 that is y naught value from the table is 184 plus r value is minus 0 0.2 delta of y naught value from the twin uh, from the table it is 20 plus r value r into r minus 1 that is minus 0 0.2 into minus 0 0.2 minus 1 whole divided by 2 factorial is 2 delta square of y naught from the table it is 2. So if you type all these value in the calculator, so we'll find the value of f of 38 as 180.24. If you add 184 plus these all values in the calculator and check, it will become 180.24. Let's see what is f of 85 now. To find f of 85, we'll use the Newton backward formula. So by Newton's backward interpolation, that is f of x is equal to yn plus r into nebula of 
y n so i will go back and i will show you how many terms are required here so this is y n so this is nebula of y n this is nebula square of y n this is nebula cube of y n so nebula cube of y n is zero so we'll write the term of y nebula of y n and nebula square of y n and we'll see the series now plus it is backward means r into r plus 1 divided by 2 factorial nebula square of y n so from the table we know the value of y y n nebula of y n and nebula square of y n so we'll see what is the value so we need to calculate we are finding f of 85 means here the x value is 85 so therefore the value of r in the backward formula it is x minus x n divided by h so x value is 85 x n from the table it is 90 divided by h value is again 10 so 85 minus 90 divided by 10 it will be minus 0 0.5 so once we got these all values we'll apply so we are finding f of 85 is equal to y n value from the table it is 304 plus r value is minus 0 0.5 nebula of y n from the table it is 28 r value is minus 0 0.5 into r plus 1 that is minus 0 0.5 plus 1 divided by 2 factorial is 2 nebula square of y n from the table it is 2 so if you simplify this value at once in the calculator so i will show this cal calculation so 304 plus bracket minus 0 0.5 close the bracket again bracket 28 plus so the values are in fraction so you take fraction option bracket minus 0 0.5 close the bracket again bracket minus 0 0.5 plus 1 into 2 uh, divided by 2 factorial is 2 take this cursor button sign into 2 and see the value is it is coming 100,159 uh, divided by 4 or I can say that in decimal 289.75 so we'll take as it is so f of 20 f of 85 is equal to 289.75 so this is for backward interpolation so hence i'll collect it hence f of 38 is 180.75 24 and f of 85 is 289.75 so we can see here the important thing is what from one common table we are applying forward formula also backward formula also and we are getting the answers so just note down this example one of the best example to apply forward and backward for from the common table.